stream, and like they're taking a dump while we're streaming. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I'm not shit. Like, like our friend Junior, he was like, "I've got to take a shit." I was like, "Really, Junior? Really?" I was like, "Oh hell, you're the one that drug me to the bathroom with you that one time, wasn't it?" Yeah, and I'm taking you there now. I was like, "Oh crap." <laughs> He was like eating chips, and, like drinking, and he was like slurping his drink. Like you, it sent like he was eating soup. Ew. I mean, no, it was, he was like oh, chewing wow. his food like a cow. It was like so gross. I was like, what the fuck? It's like we couldn't hear each other for him. Going, it was what? Like, what's that? It's funny like, you say that because my boyfriend, Chris, he eats and drinks coffee in the shower. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, I'm I dead serious. He will sit in the, in the tub part of the shower and he'll just sit there and oh. eat. I'm All like, right. what the fuck I are know, you doing? No, I'll admit it. I've made, a ba- like, made myself a bath and then like got like, like made pizza or something for the kids. And then, like I'll take my food plate because... Like, I'm sorry, but when you're with your kids 24-7, you need some time (laughs) without your kids. And you cannot just sit and eat like a normal human being, okay? Because there's no, by the time you get to eat your food, it is so cold that it is disgusting. And you don't want it anymore. Or you're so tired you can't eat. So I would, I take the pizza and like, I've got one of those stools that you can lay, it folds up, you know what I'm saying? So I, I took it into the bathroom and set my food on it uh-huh. and my drink and took a bath and ate pizza in the bathtub. No shit, ate pizza in the bathtub. Well, nice. I'll eat in the bathtub, but he'll have the shower running, not even the bathtub. He'll just sit in the bathtub Wait, part and just have the shower how going. How is food and then- not soggy <laughs> gross? I don't know. He's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it works, I mean... There are weirder things that people do. That that's hilarious. Like, but no, I take a bath and I'll take my food in there and I'll eat my food while I'm taking a bath and lock the door and hide from the kids. <laughs> I do that with candy too. I'll get in the bathtub and like take a bath and eat candy. Like I have a secret stash of candy. It's mommy treats. It's funny because growing up, my dad freaking loved candy so much that he would go around the house and hide it and when one would go missing shit you not he would call like a family meeting and he'd be pissed as hell and he'd be like who the fuck took my candy bar (laughs) oh my god like he did not fucking play with his candy bars like those were his and you do not touch them (laughs) (laughs) well I mean like once you have kids like nothing is yours anymore Nothing. I know, right? Oh my god. It's... They're like, I want some. And you're like, fine, take all of it. <laughs> yeah, because you just don't want to fight. Because you know, if you tell them no, they're going to start crying and throwing a fit. And it just, you're just like, oh, I'm too tired for this. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it gets old. Oh my lord. Like, I was so dying laughing at your. Like your live stream, Dolly. By the way. Oh my God, we like covered a lot of subjects. I feel <laughs> like butt or- butt worms and <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you know pubic area shaving. Like, I still don't understand boxing. how guys can do that. Like, how do they shave it? Like, it's wrinkly. Like, do they have to like really pull? Because I've just got this middle image of the, of a guy with their balls, and they're like pulling it as like flat, smooth as they. <laughs> That's what <laughs> they I do. That too. is that is that really what That's, they do? They do that I, because I'm honest. Honestly, I've never watched whomever I was living with, you know, when we were in relationship, like, shave. So, it's, I'm like, I'm usually too busy doing other things, so. See, with me and Chris, like, I I watch him pee, and I don't even care, like, it's just so interesting to me. And when I watch him (laughs) shave, he'll, like, he'll, like, lift up his balls and, like, (laughs) I'm like, what the heck? (laughs) It's weird. I it's mean, really weird. whatever gets the job done. Right? But 
that stream that I did, I think it was the... Uh, I've never gotten that many people watching at once. So... I don't I don't know if it was the unboxing, which it probably was, but then I think it was also like the weird bathroom talk too. <laughs> it, you know, honestly, like it, it has to be. I get more views from weird conversations that we have than when I game. So Like what uh, are you streaming right now? Are you streaming IMVU or Yeah, us doing IMVU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh and, and so happening. you know, like Woof is actually having uh, what? He he's having surgery tomorrow, heart surgery. He um, oh, he has okay. a, he has health issues. Like he's had some strokes and stuff, so he's having to go in, and it kind of makes me a little nervous, in a way. Yeah, I mean that would make anyone nervous, but I know Please. hopefully everything goes well. Yeah, me too. He's probably not watching us. He's probably just... He's, I think he, he's got to go to bed because he can't eat or anything. So, like, I can't... Right. Like, I'm so awful. Like, I couldn't go without eating like that. It would drive me crazy. Well, they only ask you to normally do 12 hours before. So, like, if you're going to bed at 12, you just stop eating at 12. And if you're, like... It's only generally 12 hours. Here, so, I'm you just, go. like, skip dinner. Like, I mean, that's just scary because they're going to work on his heart. And... Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. That It's just scary. Oh, come on. St Skype phone app. Is it acting up? Yeah, it's like being an asshole. Like, my whole Skype's been doing something stupid. Like, I can call everybody just fine. But, like, like if I send you all messages, like, you're not getting them. Or I'm not getting yours till, like, nearly 24 hours later. That's weird. Yeah, because I got a message from you at, like, 3 in the morning or something. Because, like, it's, what time is it? It's, like, 6 in the morning for you. But, yeah, and you were, like, what did you say? You were, like, I don't know, but you responded. <laughs> is yeah, what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> well, it did, um, it just did something, I don't know. It did something weird. So, uh, Instagram. <laughs> Oh, God damn it! What? Like, trying to get the keys to do the right. It's being an asshole. And, Mommy, I got hiccups. <laughs> no. What, what did you... It's, it's midnight and you want peas? can and cooked I don't think they'll be good like that oh, okay give me one second let me take this into the okay. kitchen and I'm sure he won't eat this but let me try let me make sure the expiration date's like oh god yeah hold on <laughs> you're, you're such a strange child so Luna you're still there right yeah so, I'm not going to get into details, but Instagram has been crazy town with, like, drama. And, like, weird really? stuff has been happening. Yeah, like, you know, a certain YouTuber that is, like, non-existent on Instagram anymore. And they're one of my favorites, so I hope they're okay. And then... Oh, yeah, like, I saw that. Yeah. I I'm saw it in a... a I was worried about it, too, because when I saw all her stuff go missing, I remember going into the chats and was like, does anybody know what happened, basically? I don't know what happened. Hopefully, like, it's nothing serious, because I know she ha was having, like, she had to stay with her parents and stuff for reasons, you know? Right. So hopefully it was nothing, like, too okay. bad. Yeah. I am no. back. 
Welcome back. We were just talking about a YouTuber that kind of went on hiatus and oh, isn't yeah. existing right now in the Instagram world or the YouTube world. So I don't know. I just I and then there's like other petty stuff going on in Instagram and like several people are posting about it, all about like ear drama, like gears, like gear ears. That's exactly um, why I posted on that hate blog. You were on the hate because blog? They're, or? Yeah, I posted on the hate blog about that because they're mm-hmm. being fucking dickheads. So I was like, I basically went on the hate blog and was like, y'all are fucking idiots. And y'all wanted to talk about other people being petty, but y'all sit here and do the same shit. Yeah, the the drama is basically people buy ears from shops and they don't, they realize that they don't want it. So then they resell it. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and people are getting really upset about it. Is that what that's what's going on, right? Like, I well, I don't get it. Like, I mean, I just, who cares? <laughs> it's like, uh, why? The, the big deal with that they're having is that she basically goes and buys a whole bunch of ears from Elisa, so it lessens chances for other people oh. to get them, and then oh. she'll resell them. Oh, so no, no, I that. understand that. And she probably sells them, like, resells them for a much higher price, right? No. Um, no, she doesn't. She just realizes she doesn't like them or they're just not a fit for her, but she'll continue buying more ears. And people are like, why is she buying, like, three ears out of, like, a five-ear release? And to like, me, that's her money. She, it's uh-huh. first come, first yeah, serve. Yeah, but here's the thing, like, Honestly, the shop owners should limit one pair per person so that this doesn't happen. I mean, yeah. I agree with that, but because at it's the same really, time. honestly, it is unfair. I mean, it's, it's like, hey, I'm just going to buy all these up because I'm a selfish cunt and I want to wear them first. And Whoa. I'm like, nobody else can have them. So then I'll wear them and I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to sell them back. I'm going to sell them to other people. Because I don't well, need them. I, think I mean, that's the just thing it's really is, selfish. Like to me, it sounds like she's just thinking, "Well, I don't. I want these. I don't want other people to have them." Does that make sense? It's like a. Like, it, <sighs> it makes sense, but I I can't say I really agree with it because like it's her money, and the releases are first come first serve. So if you don't get there in time, that's not their problem. You know. Even if it is considered selfish, but the people on the blog are hating on other people for buying ears that they wanted. And it's just like, yeah. and they'll say that they're entitled, but the people going on the hate blog are acting like they're just as entitled to it as well. Well, here's the thing, and I hate that. While I don't agree with her buying the ears up when there's only a limited number of them. Like, honestly, the shop owners should limit it to one pair per... Because that would kind of null and void the issue. You you know what I'm saying. But, like, don't go on a blog and fucking bitch because you didn't buy it first. Like, that's just how... if If it's meant for you to have them, you'll get them. And that's just how it is. What? That's just how life is. And They're ears, for God's sake. They're not food. You're not starving to death, and it's not the last bit of food in the world. You know what I'm saying? So don't bitch about it. Yeah. It's like a luxury item. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just yeah. see things kind of different, I guess, in a way. Not well, I kind of understand where you're coming from. But sometimes she's not even buying multiple ears from a release. It's, sometimes it's just ears that other people want, but she got to them first. Yeah. And, and then she'll go sell them. Yeah. People are targeting her and like to the point where which, it's become harassment, which is not. Yeah, okay. they they threaten to go to her work and expose her. Expose her for buying yeah, ears. Do you know how? No, you know, her kink account. Oh, and her shop that's, account. Um, that is something different, and uh, that's something I want to make clear because I've had it happen to me several times, like stupid shit like that happened to me and it, it's just like the kick thing and this is something that me and um uh own dark child were talking about because it this also comes back to that stuff that happened with us in the market and my kit giving out um in our community it's considered ousting 
Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a huge no-no, and anyone that does it would be pushed out of the com- community for doing it. And I want to make mm-hmm. that really clear. It's absolutely unacceptable to do uh, to act like that at all. Agreed. It's a huge no-no, and you should know better. You do not belong into in the community if you act like that. Like, private information is private information, and we do not go outside the community and oust others for revenge or to get back at them for, like, ending it with the dom you wanted or some ignorant shit. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We don't do that. Yeah. It's absolutely unacceptable. But most of the people that are posting are minors, I'm assuming. Just, I hope they're minors because the way that they're acting is childish. I don't think some of them are minors. I think, I know a couple minors that go on that page. However, I know quite a few adults that go on that page and are just as hateful. Um, And the reason I went on the blog yesterday was because they threatened to expose her to her work. And she works with children. So right. that okay, and I want to I want to explain something. Like our lifestyle has nothing to do with children whatsoever. It does not put children in danger. It's absolutely ridiculous to try to put somebody in that kind of. And uh, in some states, uh, if you are in the community, they can fire you, and I think you can be fined. Mm-hmm. So it depends on the state that she's in. She could be in a lot of trouble for it. I think you can even go to yep. jail. Like, you oh know, my god! Yeah, this is not okay. This is why the most of us are so underground about who we are and what we do, and it's been a long, hard fight just to get to where we are now. Because it's years and years of work to to establish it, it to establish the com- uh, community. Yeah. yeah, this happened to. <laughs> someone else in the community online community too and I don't know how far it went but there was like people it's jealousy it it's is. jealousy it, it, is. it is it really is it's, and it's just stupid yeah. like I'm sorry they're making it out like they care about um other people's well-being like children I think they're being exposed but they're not they're doing it because they're jealous and they're doing it because they're hateful and- and they say that shit, but then they went over to Pastel Kitten and bullied her and harassed her and called the cops on her and found her address and threatened to expose that. So they're not trying to protect children by any no. means. They're just no. being selfish little cunts. And let me explain something to you. Do you know that if somebody does this to you, even if you're in the lifestyle, you can actually press charges against them? And I'm going to say it right now, and I'll say it. I've been saying it for, like, what, a month now? Do- dolly a month i think this is not part of being online this is not normal Mm -hmm. behavior it's not part of being online it's absolutely unacceptable to get other people's private information and fucking give it out okay right this is ousting it's ousting in the community and anybody that does it should be absolutely ashamed you have no business being any part of the lifestyle whatsoever none mm-hmm. just absolutely none yeah and a lot of them i don't think are part of like the actual community they're just part of the online community which i think you you mean is the, why the, wanna, the wannabes yeah that oh it's a fad so. thing because our lifestyle is yeah. not a fad i'm sorry it's not a fad it's something that's been around for a very long time it's just for some reason it got really popular lately so i i think part of the reason pet play specifically and kitten play was because the scream kiwi got popular so yeah. quickly yeah and just YouTubers coming out about it, you know? Well, I mean... I'll but that also opened the doors for a lot of minors to find it. Which they knew about it regardless a lot of the time because of Fifty Shades of Grey and all that bullshit. Well, but oh, I feel I, like I hate Fifty Shades opened of the Grey. Door. Fifty Shades I do of Grey too. is bullshit. It is not the life. It's just a crock of Fucking crap. stupid. It's crock of crap. It it's is. It's not how it works. We are nothing like that. The community is nothing like that. We're not like that. 
It's just not what it is. I'm sorry. It just isn't. The person that wrote it should be ashamed of themselves because they portrayed the lifestyle in a very horrible light. I'm sorry. You know, you should do research before, you, even if it is fiction, do research. You know, mm-hmm. learn what you're writing about. I mean, it would, it's, like, and I'm a writer, yep. and let me tell you, if I was going to write a fiction novel on a subject that I'm not very well-versed in, or a lifestyle I'm not versed in, I'm going to do the research about it so it's accurate. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's stupid not to. You really did yourself a disservice. But, of course, you know, all the idiots already bought the book and watched the movie and whatever. Yeah. People are nuts. I don't know what to say. Oh, um, um, I meant to tell you, Dolly, what's her name? Came in. Uh, it starts with a Y. A Y? Y U K I, I think. Uh, wait, yeah. Okay, she came in today and she stopped in for a few minutes. And apparently. Wait. Uh-huh. Is she the the bad one or the good one? Because there's a bunch of them. Okay, like... the, no, this is the one that the really sweet one that comes into okay. to the market. Okay, she um wanted she just came by to say hi and see how things were and wanted me to tell you tell you hugs from her. And apparently, her and her and hers, uh, she gave him a second chance. Okay, wait, her and who the boyfriend that she was having issues with or okay or whatever i don't yeah she gave him a second chance she said so okay yeah. i mean That's, why is she she wanted me to know that or i don't know no, i don't know we were having the conversation I, mean, I we were having a conversation and then she brought it up so okay i don't know all right <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, that's her business, but I mean, now, I was okay. kind of surprised. I don't know what to say. I, I know I was like, she gave a little bit more information than I wanted. You know how it's just one of those you're like, um, yeah. okay. Thanks for telling me. I mean, good for you. I Maybe just she's sweet. Uh, I think she just needed to vent. It wasn't, you know, right. Get that lit. You guys can be assholes. I'll just say that. God, can they be assholes? Girls and guys, like, I yeah, agree. No, yes, because every girl I've ever dated has been, like, ends up being, like, this crazy psycho cunt from hell. <laughs> <laughs> so do you. Yes, it's just, yeah, I quit dating girls. I quit even bothering. It's just not, they, they move way too fast, and then they're, like, if you're not moving as fast as them, you're, they get all psycho on you. I'm sorry. I kind of like to take my time. I try not to get in a hurry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was, a, it was right. my friend Ashley, who is she's gay. She's like, when you date girls, you date, and like two days later, they're pulling up with a U-Haul to your house and moving in. That's what she. That's There's what a she term said. with that. She always says that, she, but it's true. I'm like, I. I but we used to, I used to hang out with, this is the kid's godmother, by the way. And she, I get so tickled at her, but it's true. Like, she says, every time I date somebody, about two or three days later, they try to show up with the U-Haul and move in. She's like, I don't understand it, but it never fails. <laughs> there's a term for that. Like, there's a slang, and I don't know what it is. And I only know it because I was watching the L word and they used it. I wish I loved it. I know Yonder, eh? That, that show is so good. What? I know Yonder, eh? I, what? what <laughs> it's, it's like this anime term where it's like basically they're fucking psycho to the point where like. They'll kill somebody so nobody oh, else can have them but them. Oh my God. Like that batshit oh, crazy. No. Oh, person. that's my stalker. What are you talking about? That that fucker done tried to break in my window and like he he got my ex's kick. I'm not shitting you. He got my ex's kick. Mm-hmm. Like he kicked him. The guy that stalks me, whoever he is, I don't even know who he is. 
he got my That's, ex's uh, kid uh, and he like kicked him and was like threatening him and crap and told him he was like she's in love uh, with me she's my girlfriend i'm like i don't know what the fuck <laughs> Like, it was some crazy crap. It's crazy. I mean, this dude honestly thinks that I'm in love with him. And I don't even know him. I don't know who he is or anything. All I know is at some point in time, I said hello and was nice to him on IMVU. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, so yeah. I'm really weird about stuff now. It's still an That's ongoing like the... thing. That's like the um, restraining order type of person. Well, <laughs> if I knew who if I knew who he was, I would. And I think I think they told me the police told me I could press charges because I kept all the the kicks. Like I've got a huge file mm -hmm. of the kick because he went so far as to uh, talk about my kids. Um. No. Oh my goodness! No. Yeah, it, I mean, it was it's yeah. It got pretty bad. Like, I mean, it's a scary kind of thing. It's not something that I play around about. So. I'm sure Ryan in my group chat could find him. He's an ethical hacker. Well, what was really weird is, like, the kick. Like, we, we, okay, I'll admit it. Like, uh, we tried to get his stuff off of the kick, and the kick was used from a burner phone. So oh, that creepy. Yeah, so we could not pull anything off of it because the phone, you know, burner phones, you just put the minutes on it. You you don't have to register it with a name or anything. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, and it didn't have, it, He they made sure not even to turn the GPS on on the phone. So we had no idea they where, knew what where they were. They were doing. Anything. Yeah, they, th this is not, I'm more than likely this is probably not the first time they've done something like this. Oh my god. Like, you know those movies, those Lifetime movies, where they have these crazy people that stalk the celebrities? Yeah. Like, try, yeah, yeah, hello. That's what this person's doing. I had, I had somebody similar to that, except he was in a group chat, a BDSM group chat that I was in it. And I actually, the person that I warned you about, Dahlia, yeah. uh, I sent you a screenshot of, I called him out on his bullshit because he did this weird thing where he was like, oh, feel sorry for me, feel sorry for me. And he, the oh. moment he got in the chat, he started spilling his entire life story. And I was like, dude, nobody wants to fucking hear that. We just met you. Like, chill. And he got pissed off and he, like, threatened to kill me. He threatened to find oh. where I live. Um, he threatened to fly over to my place and all this uh -huh. bullshit. And um, my father-in-law, like, um, oh, man, I envy you, but. Uh, I think it's because there's people, I think they're changing. Like, I hate when it does that. They really do need to work on their coding. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think somebody was changing or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Crash. Uh, yeah, she's changing and her ass is hanging out now. That lollipops. Who, me? Because I... <laughs> no, like, our asses are always hanging out. What are you talking about? I am changing right now. And I, I have the outfit that I have. Uh, is whoa. Okay. So, we have been having an issue all day. And I'm going to bring this up because the lollipop is actually, like, what? All right. All day today, like, you know, I've only halfway been paying attention. But... You know, there's still been people coming in and out, and in between, like, streaming and adulting, paying bills, and doing laundry and dishes. Um, like, I've been paying attention and reading people's cards. We seem to have, like, a large number of escorts coming, trying to come into the room. It's because the, I, I might take it down, the tag bimbo's on it, because, like, it is bimbo-friendly. I come well, in there the girl, this bimbo. lollipops is apparently an escort. Okay, did you but tell her says, that? Oh. But it says that she's seeking a daddy dominant. Okay. On it. So, it's up to you on this one. 
but I just don't like it kind of and, and no offense to, to escorts on here because you do what you do it's not what I do but you do what you do and I, I don't have a problem with it but I don't like them coming into like the markets because looking for people right yeah. because all you're you're giving us a bad name and I, if you're in the lifestyle that's fine and dandy but like I just it's kind of an iffy situation so it's all up to you on that one Okay. I'll let you address um, it and do it. I think I might message her. Uh, yeah, do it. Yeah, message her in private. Okay. I just didn't say on her profile because I I don't want to. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, I need candy. Oh. oh, what kind of candy? <laughs> I, I just went. ate my... Last Reese's egg. Aww, they were completely sold out of Easter candy, so yeah. Uh, it goes fast. Reese's in eggs are so good. Dude, a friend of mine posted Have you seen those giant eggs that have like the liquid fudge in the middle? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah, they're like huge. Well, they had got one and they were going to share it with the whole family and they were East. I guess Easter egg, honey. But they've got a video of them with the baby, like, scooted it, scooted herself over to the egg and was, like, just dipping her hands in it and, like, scooping it up with her <laughs> hands. And it was all over. It was so cute. Absolutely adorable. And all I was thinking is, dear God, that child is never going to bed. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I was like, that's a lot of, a lot, a lot of chocolate. It was adorable, though. Okay. But I like to freeze those. Just, I don't like. I don't let them get melty in the middle. I like to freeze them and then eat them. Like cut them up. You know, like cut pieces off and eat it. I can't eat those types because I'm allergic to chocolate. So I gotta be careful oh, no. what chocolate they eat. That sucks. I, I eat some chocolate, and I love chocolate, but like. There's some chocolates that are just so refined and so rich that I just can't eat them. Why did that person just join and then leave? They... There's many reasons for that. Usually people join and they don't see, like, people they like in there. Like, there's not enough people. Well, this person or, is a, a brand new. Well, a couple oh, of days sleeping. new. And they're from Antarctica. Yeah. We have some people that don't like us very much on here for personal reasons that are stupid. Yes. And they make dummy accounts to stalk us. They, It's like That's they want to catch us doing something that we're not supposed to do. It's weird. It really is. And it's, like, really obvious, too. Like, it's not even, sad. like, they suck at it kind of thing. Like, they so suck at it. They give themselves away every time. Never fucking fails. Like, how idiotic can you be? People are so fucking obsessive, and it's weird. It is. It is Honestly, weird. it is. I just, I've been noticing that, like, a lot recently. Just a lot of obsessive people. And it's like, why, though? Like, why is this happening? Like, I've oh, said, I, I, I think, know. like, I, like, sit and think, like, am I, is it something that I'm doing that makes these people attracted to me kind of thing? Like, because I don't understand. But I think what it is is because we're actually nice to people and we're really good to them. And then when they start being really shady and fucked up, <clears throat> we drop them like flies. There's another one. Yeah, that's they're they're probably watching like my stream and they're doing it deliberately. Let's look. Well, that's an older United account. States. No, I'm gonna tell them to piss off, anyways. <laughs> you chill. You really like my shirt. Mm -hmm. you, you really like my onesie. 
It's a, it's a onesie. A onesie? Yes, a onesie. There, you said it right. Yay. Oh my god, I'm gonna <laughs> melt. <laughs> It's so cute. Yeah, oh, it's got game controllers, controllers all over it. Now it does not look like mine. No, that it's supposed to look like, I think, a PlayStation one. And yeah. then there's a, an old Nintendo one. Okay. You don't even know what that one is. Yeah, I think the one. Oh, and what's that one? I can't see it because it's above my baby. And my boobies are a little too big. <laughs> And that's an old Game Boy. <laughs> Here, lay down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got big old boobs. And, like, I, it lifts up my shirt and I can't see. He's pointing to stuff and I can't see it for my boobs. <laughs> what? I got small uh, boobies, so. so. What is that? Uh, that's one of the Pac-Man things. They messaged you? Yeah, because I tried to be really friendly. I was like, I'm not accusing you of doing this, but I noticed that this is on your profile, and this is strictly a market. And um, she said, I understand, but if you read my status, when I come in, I said I was seeking a DD. I'm not there to escort. Where I work and my lifestyle are two different things. Okay, good. She wasn't, like, a bitch about it. Like, it came off a little bitchy, but it was, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. How do you write bios? Um, well, no, but it, uh, no, what you did is perfectly fine. I don't think anything's wrong with it. Now, if she got defensive, like overly defensive, then you'd know she was actually doing up to that and not just in there to find someone. So. I don't, what I've been noticing is that people will come and sit on the pillows and not fucking talk. Dude, I don't know why they do that. It's like this. Like, <laughs> this is, it's a pet peeve of mine. It's fucking idiotic. And this is what I don't get. All right. So, you know how talkative I am. I do understand that I'm not on a pillow. And I'm only not on the pillow because, well, I'm a mod. And it's easier for me to stand next to Dolly and then be able to twirl myself around to click on somebody to boot them if needed. Okay. I don't, it's, I'm not being disrespectful by not being on the pillow, I'm just modding. It's easier in those positions, in the position that I am, to rotate the camera. And it was, you know, it's the whole point that Dolly put them there. So, mm -hmm. like, d like, I talk and I talk to the doms and I cut up and I go on. And then all these girls plop their butts on these pillows and then they're getting upset because nobody's interested in them and they're all talking to me and they're all in, in their acting like they're interested in me and not them. But it really what it is, I'm talking. How the fuck are they going to get to know you and your personality if you never fucking say anything? Well, another right? thing that I think might be the case is that they're just, and I'm not, like, saying this is everyone, but they might just be very submissive to the point where they don't talk unless someone talks to them. That's the oh, my God, your character of. is so short. <laughs> it's, it's my pixie size avatar. What the fuck? <laughs> it's adorable. It's, like, it's real life size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need to go change my height because this ain't right. <laughs> oh, yeah. This I is. A, if I had the money, I, I would gift you. If I had the if I had the credits, I would gift you that avatar. Oh my god. <laughs> How do you change your height? Oh god, it's like you have to change your hands. You okay, it's hey, so weird. uh, Davrin, Davrin, is that how you pronounce it? Draven, Draven. Draven, yeah. Okay, he says once in a while he'll get a message from somebody. Usually they will tell tell him they were too shy to come in, but they were looking for a doll. Huh. So, I, like... It could be shyness, but... I, I mean, don't know, because some of the girls get in here and they talk, but then they'll sit here and park and they'll go shop and they'll go do do other stuff, and when it's just us girls, they're talking my head off. But as soon as the dom hits, they're not saying a fucking word. Yeah. I, I still think it has to do with shyness, too. Well, I mean, a lot of you've got to be... I feel like... 
I feel like some of them aren't shy because I've had people come in there and I've only been on for like what two days and I've had people come in there and they'll talk and then they'll friend everybody or they won't talk and friend everybody and then leave. Yeah, those usually are, are not real lifers and I jump on them for it. It's unacceptable to come in a room and then fucking friend everybody. You don't do that. This is not a hook up room. You are coming in here to, to talk and have a conversation amongst adults about your lifestyle. The ones that do that mm-hmm. are not really in the lifestyle, and they're fuck boys or fuck girls. They just want easy ass. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. people like that on IMVU. They're not real life, and they're just on the, uh, they're kinksters, and they're expressing out on IMVU. So, a majority of the people that are IMVU that say they're into the lifestyle are just on it on IMVU and not in real life. Yeah. And I've it, noticed that. And it is just, they are just into the, they are they have kinks. They are not lifestylers. Like, they do not live the life. And, like, I, I have, I've got two beautiful children from the life. <laughs> 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 so, I mean... I don't know. I don't understand. Like, I understand kinksters. And I, I love that they're not, like, vanilla, completely vanilla. That's awesome. I've dated a few. It semi-worked, semi-didn't. You know, they don't, most of the time they can't go to the to the level that you need. Does that make sense? Right. <laughs> and what really bothers me is they just want the title. I see this on Instagram, too, not just on IVU. It's like, why can't you just say that you're a kinkster? You don't have to say that you're, like, you know, I'm a dominant if you're not. You don't have to say, well, I'm a kitten if you're not. Like, it's it's because they want the title. I, yeah, I don't know. It bugs I, me. I don't, yeah, it does me, too. Because there's a little, there's a lot different. It, there's a big difference and, like, like, I'm very honored to have the title that I have. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I, I take very a, a big pride in it. Like, it, it's because it, I identify. It's not just my title. It's, it's part of who I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it's a big deal. And then when I see these girls coming in saying that's what they are and this and that. And they're carrying themselves in a manner that's just... Uh, I don't know. It bothers me. I'll just say that. Like, you, you're definitely not. I mean, just because you're submitting to someone does not make you a submissive. It does not It does not make yeah. you a sub. It does not make you a, a slave. It does not make you a house sub, as I like to call myself, instead of slave. Because, yeah. And I do that because like, people that don't understand the life, if I don't say that, they're very confused yeah. as to what I am. <laughs> like, they, the, the like, what they think I do and what I actually do are two different things. So, it's just easier for me to I'm a house sub. <laughs> I, like, I don't know how else to, like, explain that. To me, like... Being anybody can submit to somebody, but it takes a submissive to dedicate yourself to somebody. Right, mm-hmm. like, like I love to serve. It has nothing to do. It's it's just it's how I am. I've always been this way. I was born like this. This is it's just who and what I am, you know. And I'll go out my way to serve. So mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's just part of me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can agree that too. I <laughs> myself as a what? Oh okay. my god! In the pet section, they have a mini Donald Trump pet. Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> there, are are no. you fucking getting a pet, Donald Trump? Like it's called Daddy Trump. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh wait, did we tell her about the butt plug? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think we talked about it in the stream before, but I don't know. She I don't think, was I don't, uh, listening. Oh, my God. Like, sh- we were on, like, in shop together and looking at stuff, and somehow uh, we were looking at stuff that didn't even have anything to do with what popped up. Like, half the crap that popped up in the search was not <laughs> what we were looking for, but one of them was a butt plug. A, one of those gym butt plugs. 
Mm-hmm. Like, no shit. And then, like, so I, being the crazy one that I am, so I tried it on. And then I've got, <laughs> I've got, <laughs> I've got avatars that will make me look like I'm doing stuff to myself. So I laid myself down and made it do that. And then, like, had to, like, adjust the camera <laughs> so that we could actually see it. And like, like it was actually there like yeah, it wasn't it just was like like exactly how you would think it would that. look and it was like in detail and we were dying laughing like we couldn't stop laughing it was so funny because here we are she's clothed got some cute outfit on i'm butt ass naked with the butt plug <laughs> <laughs> twirling my camera around and i'm sure she's doing the same thing to look at my ass <laughs> It was so funny. Like, we do some of the weirdest things. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You have a little owl you can set on your shoulder. Like Harry Potter? Yeah, like a barn owl. Like the ones from Harry Potter. Oh. Oh, It just sits on your shoulder. I never really looked at that. I don't even have enough credits for anything. Aw. That sucks. Yeah, I it's would, okay, I'm though. tapped out at the moment, so. <laughs> it's okay, because I can be, like, how I window shop and just heart everything. Who's Mary Ann? What? That, who's Zeppelin? I got an ad from them, too. Who is he? Creeper time. Who is Mary Ann? Wait, what? Like... Who the fuck is he talking about? Okay. Oh. Okay. I see her now. Let's see the Zeppelin person. 1969. They have nothing on their interests. They do not have a quote. They're single, straight, here for chatting, and they live in Florida. I'm going to deny them. I'm denying them, too. I hate random friend requests. Like, why would you want someone you haven't even talked to on your friend list? That's a little weird. I don't even know. It's people. Fucking weird. It's the same reason why people will send dick pics and expect me. I'm not. Like, we're going to go on that rant. Let me tell you. (laughs) The reason why that I quit fucking, like, I used to try to get on, like, Fet Life and, like, the dating site. Oh. I stopped. Let me express that the amount of dick pics that I got was so ridiculous that I was able to save them, send them to my friend, and she uses them to make art out of. What? Oh, my goodness. Like, she puts I little hats on them and puts little faces and shit. Oh, my God. Oh, just, I don't it's think so it's funny. Yeah. It's like she has a whole series. She just <laughs> like so. I stopped. I don't use Fat Life, and I don't do any kind of dating sites anymore. For that, like I got nothing but dick pics. Like, See, I've never had this issue. Like on Instagram, like I think I only got like one dick pic my whole life on Instagram, and everyone else is just getting them. And it's not that I'm like I feel unloved or anything, because I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm just saying that. It's just weird. I get dick pics sometimes. Most of the time it's people coming in like, do you need a dom? Like, can you not fucking read my bio? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, like, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, my God. There is this dommy who keeps coming in. And she freaking plops her ass down next to me. And she does this. It's, it's like every other day. She plops her ass down next to me. I, I get that I have bi on my, uh, on my, you know what I'm saying. On my shit. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and you know, and, and, and while I like, I like girls, I like to look at them. Like, I'd probably date the right girl if they ever came along and I was not with somebody. Because I don't, I'm not Polly. You know what I'm saying. But, mm-hmm. that, I don't want a dummy. I'm sorry. It's just not my thing. I don't like dummies and it, it, I, I have my reasons for it like they get a little more aggressive than a dom 
or at least to me they do. They're just not as, I don't know, it's just something it just isn't, I can't explain it. But she's been trying, forcing herself on me and then getting upset when I keep telling her, no, I want a dog. And it's like a constant thing. It's like every other day she comes in there and she's like, are you still available? And she goes <laughs> on, I'm like, I want a dom. She was like, it doesn't say so in, on your profile card. Well, my profile card is not an advertisement for what I want. I want to be able to go into regular rooms and not have horn dogs humping my leg. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the crap? That's a what fox. The, the hell? That's a fox. I thought there was a dog. You, a ghost? No, a dog. <laughs> a goat? No, dog. I don't know. A dog? A dog? <laughs> It's a pet. Oh my God. Isn't that a meme? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my oh my kids God. are as nerdy as I am. That was great. Oh, that made my night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but when Dahlia laughs, it immediately makes me laugh. Oh, she just I'm... has one of those contagious laughs. Yes. Yes. Oh, I can't help it. When I'm, like, really laughing, it's horrible, but I just, I couldn't help it. That was too cute. It's so, it was so, it's so cute when you laugh, though, because oh, it has, Apex, it's, like, it's one of those laughs that make me laugh. Apex Aww. is, he's on his mobile, so, unless he switched his computer, he's on his mobile, so he may not be able to get on a pillow. There's so many people popping in, I'm getting overwhelmed, like... And we just opened this market, like, a week ago? Yeah, we're, like, one of the most popular markets on IMVU. At the moment. And I don't know. I mean, okay. It might be because it's so small where you see everything and you need to go to. Whereas other markets, you have to scroll forever. And it takes forever to load. Well, and, I think, yeah. honestly, I think what it is is because the way we do things is a lot different. Like, we're strict, but we'll still let you cut up and talk and you know what I'm saying we don't we don't bite at you over per needing to have perfect spelling or perfect grammar because that shit's bullshit they ain't nobody got perfect grammar or spelling and anybody that goes on and ridicules somebody for it needs their ass smacked because that shit's stupid <laughs> unless okay I can understand it but if it's like to the point where you can't understand them because they're talking in like text type yeah, like, that's, that's different. That's I understand different. it. That's different. But, like, because not everybody has, has had the opportunity to have, like, the best education. And mm -hmm. when you ridicule others like that, you could be missing out on somebody really cool because you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> True. Do I know Marianne? I sure don't know her, but I've only been on for two days. Let me look on her card. I, uh, are they listening to us? Oh, God. I don't even know. I can't remember. If I don't talk to you every day, then I don't know who you are. And it's not me being a bitch. No, it's me, no, no. It's, me. it's completely understandable. Hold on. We'll find out. I need another pet. I'm going to go look for bats. <laughs> See, I, I think know. I have about. Yeah, they're probably watching us. Okay. Holy crap, guys. Thank you. You all have got my, like, viewer, like, count way up. Well, thank you're you. welcome. <laughs> and thank everybody. I am that's, here, that's in here in the chatting. Yeah. In the room. That's awesome. <clears throat> I got a fart. Oh, excuse me. Did you just fart? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. So, we were playing a game, and like, I'm so used to like, hanging out with, um, 
with you know Glitch and Frost because they're, they're they're not my blood brothers. We're not related in like like that, but we call each other brother and sister. We're really close. We've been friends for a while. We watch out for each other. Well, we'll get in there and we'll start talking and. I was not even thinking, and, like, because I forget that I've got this good headset with, like, the good mic. You know what I'm saying? And I let one rip, and apparently it echoed in the mic. <laughs> and, like, they died laughing. Like, they could not believe that I just did that. Because I don't even burp when I'm on call. I was so embarrassed, but it was so funny. We couldn't even talk for laughing for, like, 30 minutes. Like, I swear, I was like, you, I said, you know, you're too close to people when you're on Discord and you're farting. Oh, my God. <laughs> that also reminds me. So, Furry was telling me this story. He was on Discord with his friend, a friend of his. And, like, they're in the middle of having, like, a conversation. And, like, they started, like, like masturbating. What? what? Are they fucking talking to him. Wait, were they talking about anything sexual, or was it just no, like? No, he was like he was just talking to the girl, and then she starts to do, like going at it, and he's just acting like he's like he goes, I didn't want to be rude. He's like, I was honestly <laughs> shocked. I had no clue as to what I should do. <laughs> I was that is never. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's happened to me. I mean, probably, but... Like, only, uh, only just, time I've had it happen to me is, like, when I'm talking to who I'm with, and it's just... Not, yeah, like, yeah, like different. that happens. Like, but... all of a sudden, they just... And I'm like, could you not contain yourself? Like... <laughs> And then, you know, you end I'm up I'm kind of flattered that. when it happens. Yeah, like, yeah. But no, no. Like, if I was on, like, Discord with one of them and they did some shit like that, I would be freaked the fuck out. I was just like... Uh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> like, different. Gross. Just gross. Like, how the fuck? Stop. I just completely missed everything you guys said. I'm so sorry. I like Did zoned out and then I came back. I was like, what? No, we are not smoking weed. Just so everybody knows we're not smoking weed. This is us normal. <laughs> like this is the normal. No, we're just right back though. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta get a drink and stuff. I didn't get a gift. This is some crap. Why did I get I don't a gift? Know who this person is, but okay. I didn't get a gift. <laughs> I don't, why, well, like, okay, what is, what is this, Paco Taco looks for me, Amelia. I don't know any of these people besides Apex, you, and Dahlia. The ones that come in all the time. And Jamie. I don't know, because we've got a bunch of people watching us, so. Well, not a bunch, but, I mean, live watching us. It's a lot for us. Mary, if you're listening, you, I'm upset with you. What? She's giving everybody <gasps> gifts but me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bunny tail. I got a big, fluffy bunny tail. It's adorable. I ain't get shit. I ain't get fucking shit. I'll I'll buy you some stuff when when I have my when I get my credits. I don't even know how gifts work. Um, can I gift you something? Like Let's you see. can like you can I click the name, or like the um, like click the name and then it'll pop up. You'll see gift or a little box with a bow on. Oh, I see it. Yeah, you click it, and then it'll go through, and it'll give the list. If they've got stuff on their wish list, then you can gift them stuff out of it. Again, I'm back. Welcome back. Holy shit, I can't afford any of that. I got 45 credits. Never mind. <laughs> hey, I only got 98, because I bought that outfit. And the hair, because I, I had to have one, it. I've one. I had 500 and something, almost 600, but then I bought bats because fucking bats. 
It goes by fast, and I don't get it. Like, why is everything so expensive? It's so, uh, I don't know. And I don't get, like, random people gifting random people because, like, it's not cheap. Maybe they're being sweet because you're the owner and I'm the mom. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Damn it. I'm trying to... Like, don't get me wrong. I like gifts. Who doesn't like gifts? But, like, if you don't know the person, then what? I don't, I don't know. It's nice. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's the chat box. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful or you lose the, the, the chat box. Like, uh, I, I, you know, I don't... I know this will sound kind of bitchy, but if I'm gifting... Uh, yeah, let me mute, because we don't want to, um... Okay, I've already got the room muted, so it's fine with me. Yes. Yeah, so hopefully you don't... Because if it plays, then it, then it, like... Like, it auto-edits the sound, and then they won't be able to hear us, so... I think I've got it muted. Oh, I'm frustrated. I got a text message from my sister saying that I'm dumb. So either she's watching the stream or she's saying... Because I sent the video of the guinea pigs drinking water to Yeah. Me. Okay, good. She's just talking about the guinea pigs. Because I'm like, if she is listening to the stream right now, like... Because, I don't know, I, I totally went on a huge rant because I was live on Instagram. And then my sister, um, she views me sometimes. And she's my cool sister. But I guess my older sister, who's a bitch, she overheard it and was saying, like, she was sending me a bunch of text messages. And the text messages pop up when you're streaming so you can see them. And, I don't know, I totally, like, went on a huge rant. Well, and it was embarrassing. Like, we all have, like, like nobody's family's perfect either. So everybody's got right. family. Like, I don't, like, my family just doesn't have anything to do with me. Like, it's not because of anything that I've done. Like, it's just them and their issues. Now, I do have a lot of family that I don't fool with because they have some major issues. And I don't want them around my kids. Right. But that's different. I think, yeah. Uh, like I said, just because you're related to somebody by blood doesn't mean they're family. That's how I feel, yeah. at least. Yeah, agree. Because, like, we act more like family than they do. Mm-hmm. Like, our small group that we have that are always around each other, we act more like family than our actually real family. And that's it's sad. Like, it makes me really sad, but... It does. You know, like... I don't know. Like, because you want that kind of connection, like, with your family. But it doesn't always happen. Right. Sorry, I was getting a drink. I was losing my voice. My allergies are killing me. Soda. Yeah, that's what I went for. Like, my friend was really nice, and they came by, and, like, because I didn't, like, I didn't really have money or anything to go to the store, and I was, like, at us and stuff, so they, like, brought me, like, Cokes. Like, I have to have my Cokes. Like, you know how people, like, who smoke, if they don't have their cigarettes, they're mean as I don't know what? Yeah. Yeah, I get that, I get that way <laughs> with my Cokes. If I don't have a Coke, then all hell's gonna break loose. It's gonna I feel be, the exact same way. Like, it's going to be something horribly wrong. I'm going to tear into everybody because I can kind of thing. Like, that's the only time I get bitchy. Like, if you know I haven't had any coke if I'm ripping people's heads off left and right. So. <laughs> and, and I am talking about the brand of drink and not actual the powder. Because I don't do... <laughs> I don't do any drugs. Like, I'm boring in that matter. And don't get me wrong, I've partied. I've partied in my life. Partied a little too hard. Like, those <laughs> manami... Like, my friend made a manami. And it was like... It, the mm -hmm. little guy off of... Oh, what is it called? What That movie where he's, like, driving them in a car or something. And, it, the, and he always says, well, did you die? Uh. 
like oh uh, the hangover yes the hangover. okay like so she made this thing it was like she made this meta me and she, she addressed it it was all addressed to me like you've partied with pixie and then it's got it's got him and it, it and she had it to where it like had my name like you knew it was you know me saying it kind of thing and uh -huh. she said it and had it say but did you die because <laughs> <laughs> literally oh I, I can get like when i party i get crazy and it's a crazy funny kind of thing like you're not it's not like i mean i do some really stupid crazy shit when i when i'm drinking or like when we go out partying or smoke smoke weed which i've not done in years i can get really out there really fast and it gets hilarious like anybody that's ever partied with me like if i say i've got to pee they'll start hollering well, look for the dumpster what oh when we were okay like in the the city that's over from us it's a really big city we would go downtown and we would bar hop and i would be drunk and we would be hopping from bar to bar and like i would have to pee and there would be like a dist a, a long enough distance in between that i couldn't make it to the bar to go to the bathroom so if i saw a dumpster i would stop and like squat next to it and pee so that was like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I have, okay, I've done similar things. I've, like, I've, I've peed outside when I was drunk or, like, yeah. I think I think everyone's been there, though, I hope. Well, I, I mean, yeah. I, was, I don't know, like, I was a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, last time I got drunk, I ended up humping my mother-in-law. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not even... I, I dry hump people when I'm drunk and I also get very touchy feely like I grab girls boobs. <laughs> oh my god, really me like, like on so, other things we save but not up intoxicated. and plan a trip where we all three get together and get drunk just to get the entire comedy out of it because it would be freaking <laughs> hilarious because you know how no filter i am anyway like when i'm drunk it's five times worse and i'll outright say what i'm thinking and it can be really the fuck out there when i <laughs> we used to sit at the club that i used to to work at and like after a certain time I would, I would be off of work, but the club would still be open, so I could get mm -hmm. to sit and drink after work. And I would be, and I would be like chugging them back. And my, and I'm gonna tell you, I can hold my own when it comes to drinking. So the drinks that I'm drinking are pretty fucking strong, and I can down them pretty fast. And um, <laughs> the shit that I come up with, like. I love making fun of the the girls, the drunk girls that can't dance and they're soaking in wet and sweat. Cause you, oh it, no! Cause it's like it's like a techno club, so it's that oh, kind no. of music playing. It's so, it's so you know, because if you been to a rave, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. And like they're all over, <laughs> they're all over all the guys, and you're, they're, you're hearing the. Doosh, 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 and they're trying to like booty dance to it or do some weird <laughs> shit. And they're close. Oh, I know shit. exactly oh, what you're talking about. And I would start oh. cracking out shit about it. And like I would have the bartenders that worked with me rolling, dying, laughing. It was absolutely hilarious the shit that I come up with. And I would do weird. You know how I do weird and crazy things like role playing on IMVU? Mm -hmm. I want you to realize that I would actually do this shit in real life. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. Like, um, the the club I used to work at had an after-hours club, too. So when we hit the 3 o'clock in the morning mark, you would go to the basement, and then they would have an after-hours. So everybody sobers up and everything. You, you couldn't drink. They just served waters and sodas and stuff or whatever, and then you got to dance more. Of course, you know, that's not always being passed around down there but that's beside the point and i would have, work, have to work the door so i'd be working the door and there was some guy came in and he got 
he grabbed my boob or something. And you, uh, and so those of you that don't know, mm. I am only four foot six inches, and here I am, like in this scandalous looking outfit at the door. This guy grabs my boob, and he's a big dude. He's like six foot. I climbed him like a tree and started punching his head in. The bouncers are <laughs> fucking standing around laughing. And he's screaming, get her off me, get her off me. And they like, like <laughs> All I'm imagining is that scene where Puss in Boots cr- climbs down the cat scratcher with his toes. It's like it was like that. Like, and I'm so f- I was I'm so fast. Like, I'm a lot faster than you think I am. I'm quick as sh- like just so quick. So I'm climbing like a tree, and I'm like wailing on his head, and he's like his nose is bleeding, and he's screaming and hollering. And finally, the um the bouncers are like I've known them for years and years and years. We're we're kind of like family. We're friends, and I call them my brothers too. They're they're really overprotective, but they're pretty big dudes. You know they work out and got muscles and all this. Well, the the one friend of mine, it, it, he 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 gets me so tickled. He would work in a, a kilt, you know, and he honestly he would not wear underwear. I'm not shitting you. I've seen more of his oh, ass, wow. his ass and his junk than ever wanted to know possible but he, but he ended up having to pull me off and like he's carrying me through like um through the um the underground club thing and i'm kicking and screaming and saying let me go let me go and he's like laughing like horse laughing he goes if i let you go you're gonna climb him like a tree and wail on him more <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Like, I know at the time I wasn't very amused with the situation, but you know how you, like, look back on it and you're like, what the fuck did I do that for? That was fucking funny as shit. It's like one of those moments you wish they had the, cam- like, the camera phones, but they did yeah. back then. So that was before people carried around camera phones. It was hilarious. I did some weird, crazy shit. Like... We would have, or I call it the hippie night. Like, they'd play, like, certain kinds of music, and all the hippies from the college would come in. And, like, it, in no time it would heat up. And, see, I would, eat, like, have to work the door. And I would be done and then walk up to go sit and, like, hang out with everybody else till I could, you know, to the club closed and I helped clean, you know, close the club and all that. Well, I would, on those nights, I would take, like, spray deodorant, because you get a room full of stinky hippies, and it's nothing but oh, badunkus, no. badunkus and patchou- patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful A+. Plus. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to interrupt, but I really had to burp, and I was trying to hold it in. Oh my god, do you see his humor username? Which no. one? K- <laughs> K- K- KYG. Oh. Like, they come in every so often. I'm sorry. Okay, there's an ongoing joke because some reason, and some people may get offended by this. Yes, my the my Discord channel and or fan channel group that we have, we are predominantly white. And um, we usually have some off-color jokes and for some reason we will be in a game or like we play cards in humanity and then uh we also they also get on uh league of legends with me and play and uh, some of them get on overwatch too but we always end up getting called nazis like it never <sighs> fucking fails so like when he said that it, it actually i think is a username from the cards against humanity the, there's a guy that j- hops in when we get on. Like, he doesn't get on our Discord, but he'll hop in the card of, Cards of Humanity game with us, and he'll play with us. And he's got, I'm pretty sure that's the same username, which is kind of funny. But, like, it, like it'll be an onslaught of racist jokes and or Nazi, uh, fucked up, contorted Nazi propaganda. I don't know. I don't know mm. how to. We are not Nazis. 
Nazis, but because you, we've been called Nazis and the whole, you know, we kind of make fun of ourselves. It's not meant to be, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're just making fun of ourselves. It's not meant to be like that. And it's fucking hilarious. Uh, I mean, that's like a gray area to it really is. talk about. It is. And it's like, but I don't want people thinking, like, I'm absolutely not racist. Absolutely not. Like, my actual um, best friend, um, she passed away um, when I was pregnant with my youngest. And she is um, African American. So, and we were very close. I'm not, like, <clears throat> she understood my humor. Like, she would kind of cut up with it, too. And I know that sometimes I can come across kind of odd because of the, the way my humor is. But I don't mean it in the manner that... Y- you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like I'm not doing it to offend anybody. I'm just, you know... I'm just being goofy. Funny's funny. And that's how it is. You can't take everything seriously. Like, and if you want to crack jokes on me, fine. It, it doesn't bother me. I make fun of my own self. Like, so... As long as everyone's laughing, there's a few things that I wouldn't... I hate when people joke about... And it's, uh, I don't like dead baby jokes. I don't like oh, rape no. jokes. And what's the other one? Like, um, oh, emo jokes, like, with self-harm. Like, those are things that you should never joke about. But I do understand, like, making fun of yourself. And as long as everyone's laughing, but as long as it's not, like, harmful. Like, right. what I just like, listed. it's not, like, like, we don't do stuff and cut on to bully you know what I'm saying? It's not that. Like we, have, hey. like we respect other people and their, you know, their views, their culture, their race. It's just all of us cutting up, and that's all it is. And like now with the rape thing, like I don't joke about that. I'm sorry. I just don't. yeah. That's just something. It's I, very serious. And like the dead baby thing, I don't. I don't like joking like that. It makes me feel weird. I mean, there's certain times, like, Cards of Humanity, sometimes you'll pull up some some very off-color cards yeah. on that topic, and it's a little different, and I'll giggle a little bit, because I know it's it's a card game, and I shouldn't get overly upset over it, but, like, you won't see me joking about it, because that's something, like, it's super serious, and it bothers people, because, you know, things happen in people's lives, and, you know, they're triggers. It upsets them, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's understandable. Like, and, and if somebody ever, if I ever said anything and they were like, that upsets me, then I stop. You know what I'm saying? I don't keep going on and I apologize. I'll go right. out of my way to apologize. I'm not going to push it. Like, I just wish more people were that way. Like, I've had people tell me, like, oh, you're stupid. You don't think that's funny? I'm like, well, you know, what I don't understand, and it's, like, really popular when people will be like, they'll be talking about games, or they'll be like, oh, I'm going to rape you with this, or like, I'm going to rape you with a bunch of messages, and it's just like, that's not funny. Like, why, how did that even become a thing? I'm sorry, I do go on about the gift rape, but the reason why I do that is because you don't have con- really control over who's giving, like, slamming you with gifts. Mm-hmm. And it's just... Because that is what it is. I mean, it is a joke, but, like, that is what it is. Some people take it too far, though, and they don't know when to stop. That's all I'm saying. And it's like, I don't know. It's it's a really touchy subject. And I'm sorry if I made things awkward. No. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm about to make it really awkward in your in the chat. Just I'm gonna pre warn you with this one. Oh no. I'm gonna go here in a minute because it's like one almost one thirty here. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, go get some rest. Yeah, you're on the t- same time zone as me. We're weird question and I understand not answering it in the live stream, but um where do you like not where where do you live but like what state oh i'm in tennessee i don't mind because i've got it on my profile card it's fine i'm in north carolina so we're oh, like right we're next to each other far from each other now if we could just get dolly out here then we could all plan like i know plan like 
a meetup <laughs> trip or something. It'd be nice yeah. if we were all just in the same time zone, at least. Like, that'd be great. Yeah, it would. Wouldn't it? <laughs> no, you know what? It would probably not be good for humanity, because if we all got together, like, because Kiki's on the same time zone, too. Because all of us together, that might disturb some rift in the universe. It might not be good. We might open, like, a wormhole or something of odd craziness. That'd be just too much fun at <laughs> one time. We can... I'm down. <laughs> Let's do it. But really quick, though, that uh, slime video that I uploaded, it has over 200 views now. Ooh. Dude, I so want that poop slime. I do, oh. too. Oh, my God. Does it smell it like so chocolate? Crunchy. Does it smell like chocolate? I, I wonder if know. it smells like chocolate. I want it to smell like chocolate. I want to look up poop slime, like the hashtag, but I'm afraid what's going to pop up. <laughs> One of you guys can no, do it. No, oh my God. Oh, oh my God, Dolly. I'll do it. Dolly. Was it you that was in the conversation yesterday about the slime porn? No. Oh my God. That was today in Discord then. Okay, so apparently it is a thing. Like slime porn is a thing. And I don't, I don't want to pull it up because I'm, I literally, I'm sorry. It just, while I love whomever I am with, um, this is like an excessive amount of slime and it, it just, the texture and the, I gagged. Ah, fucking gagged. It was so fucking nasty. And like, uh, one of my friends is like, I like it. I think it's hot. And I'm like gagging. I thought I was really going to throw up. Like, I didn't tell him that because I didn't want to make him feel odd. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I don't care what you do as long as it's not puking or scat. I'm okay. Oh, no. I, I don't think you could handle it. Google it because they can't see your screen. Google it. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, honestly, it's, I don't it's wanna... disgusting. It is so disgusting. I mean, to each their own, but I, it made me sick. And I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I don't think I could date somebody that was into that. Because I can't. No, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. Ooh, I love no. slime for ASMR purposes. I just like enough to crunch with my hands or poke at. And that's it. That does it for me. I'm not sexually attracted to slime or anything like that. I, don't, I feel weird having <laughs> to say that. <laughs> no, uh, it, it does feel weird, but I guess that slime has become more than just like a trend on, um, <clears throat> yeah. Like, I'm I gonna just... smack him. Who? The KY Jew person? I know he ain't tried no black licorice for his throat. Huh, okay. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna look at his card. I don't know if he's a troll or what. Okay, um, I'm sorry, but like, there's several people that came in with a different account, and they're never in here at the same time. But the stuff that they talk about is stuff that is from previous conversations that either I've oh. had with someone or. Like outside, like in a private chat, or like in a something uh, different uh, other than IMVU. Because, like, I'm sorry, that's not a coincidence, and it kind of freaks me out. Yeah, just gotta keep our eyes open for that. But Paco yeah, just you know, said something like really keeping... fucking weird and then left. Whoa, whoa. I, <laughs> oh, wow. Who was he referring to? I have no fucking clue. Well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I like Jamie. Jamie's funny. <laughs> yeah, she's our girl. Like, she's awesome. She knows what to say at awkward times or just, I don't know. Right, is Jamie listening right now? Because she was yeah. last night, right? Or the other night. 
Like, was he trying to whisper somebody? Like, who else is in here that's female? Should I block? <gasps> I know. Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if he was meaning it for a different chat. And accidentally oh, how put it in this chat. I'm calling him on it, <laughs> What was it? Wasn't the Mary Ann girl sitting on his lap? Because he was like, come sit on my lap, baby girl. Yeah, and she did. Him. Okay. She don't understand what he did. But there was a time that they were just, she was just sitting on his lap and they were saying nothing. Ew. So I wonder if he, if he was... They were whispering, and he accidentally took it off whisper and got embarrassed and oh, left. No. Honey, I, oh, no. Oh, my God. I was in the room with someone that I was dating, and we did. And, like, they, we were whispering back and forth, and we were really hot and heavy into it. And they accidentally screwed up and put it in chat. And I freaking, I didn't get embarrassed and leave. We, everybody busted out laughing because they had already knew that's probably what we were doing because we weren't talking. We were talking and then just got silent kind of thing. And, like... It was so fucking funny. Like, we were dying laughing. It was absolutely the funniest. Uh, I, I'm Call me weird, much. but sexting, like, does nothing for me. But it depends on the person and how well they are, how good they are at it. Does that make like, sense? Like, I've never, I've never really liked sexting because I'm too lazy to fucking type all that shit out. Yeah, like, it's a story. Oh, okay, so this is what I wrote, guys. <laughs> I don't know what time. <laughs> uh, hello there. I'm the owner of Sweet Dreams Market. You said something extremely sexual and awkward. Yes, we are a beauty themed room, but we do not al op allow openly cybering slash sexting in room. Uh, please keep it to whisper in our PC. Thank you. I mean, that's not bad, oh, right? No, that's wonderful. Yeah. And it calls him out because maybe it'll address the issue because I bet you fucking anything. Oh! It didn't go through my friend. He just touched you and then ran. Yeah. If he comes Watch. back, I'll what? probably block him. <clears throat> that's okay. I took care of that. Punched. I nut punched him. How do you guys do that? I want to nut punch somebody. S slash me. What? <laughs> okay, you slap. Look, look. S oh my do God. that. Do that, and then say what you're what you're narrating afterward. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that knows me because they know that I'll, like, they know me. Because not everybody would just do that to me. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's not working. see this i can say that no it sometimes it does that it'll take you a couple times getting used to it to get it to where but i'm gonna put my troll but my <laughs> troll thing on and show you the, oh the, damn it i passed it up this like jamie was so grossed out by this because you know i recorded oh my god why did the lighting change <laughs> okay <changed. laughs> okay now watch me Okay, watch the little baby that's standing in front of me. You see the baby, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck is it doing? It's shitting on the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> baby don't pee on his leg. And then he's like, yeah, I just did that shit. 
What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Let's. If it pees on you, Dolly, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's fine. <laughs> I love how he crosses his arms after he's like, what like you gonna do, bitch? Boss. Nothing. That's right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like, nobody understands what we're doing but us. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> the dancing now? Yes. It kind of reminds me of a goblin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh. It really creeped my my ex sir out. It creeped Raven out bad. It was like that. Yeah, it creepy did. as fuck. B or B again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I don't care how many times it fucking does it. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> it's funny because it, from my view, it looks like like when you put an ice cream, the ice cream <laughs> thing. And he put it in the cone. That's what it looks like he's doing. <laughs> he's trying to make like that perfect like swirl. Okay, I'm gonna win up it. It's, uh, do you have your action sounds on? I don't know how to your do product that. Product sounds. Can you hear when we like I laugh and stuff? Does it make a giggly sound? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're gonna love this. See, you've not got to see. I've got some crazy, funny shit. Okay, now watch, watch, watch. When it comes to one-year-old Zariah, you are not... (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? crazy like that okay let's see let's put this one on and I'll show you this other one <laughs> I love to go into like dance clubs and then do this and dance around are you going to do the Maury thing well she can't see the bi- I just did did you not see it no because I was on BRB oh I-, I did it that's what she was like what the fuck did I just watch <laughs> yeah I don't, like, why did someone even create that is what, what I want to know. Just wait. Just wait. I love going in clubs and doing, <laughs> doing this shit. After this, I'm going to get off, though. Okay, hold on. Where is... <laughs> if, you, if you had AP, I would show you, like, usually with this dance, I have these humongous boobs, and they jiggle. Yeah. And like I dance around and the boobs jiggle as I dance. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm just right in her face. No regard. Yeah. Oh, oh wait. I've got a better one. I've got Hold on. You you've got Okay. Wait, is it in actions? I think it's in actions. Hold on. Cuz you you're, you're going to fucking yourself laughing oh it is okay okay i didn't have to hunt hunt you're gonna die when i do this i've not even shown dolly this like i usually use these two together can you see it no you can't hold on where the fuck she go i'm beside you in the thingy look 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 can you see it Oh, yes. Okay, okay, now watch me. (laughs) (laughs) This is not doing anything. Did it not? It's farting rainbows. It it makes it... (laughs) I'll do it again. Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) Do you not see 
see the rainbow glitter coming out of my ass? And it, it's making like a god awful. <laughs> no, I don't see it. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me try getting on that other stand. <laughs> People are probably like, "What the fuck is she doing?" Like, I'm crazy. I like having fun and goofing off. Now, do you see it? Um, I need to readjust my camera real quick. Can you hear the fart? No. You should hear the fart. Is AP? I don't think it, let me look. I don't think it is. Uh, it is. That's why she can't hear it. Aww. I'm sad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, is she AP? Oh, she's not. Or I'd go plop on the couch next to her and start farting. Here, I'll go here next to Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> it lingers when you sit on a pillow and do it. <laughs> oh God, Wait. her laugh is so funny. <laughs> it is like it, like can you see me doing it on the stream? Are you watching it? I'm about to go to bed and get off. Yeah, Ugh. I think I'm gonna go watch Netflix. Okay. But I'll be in IMB for a bit. I just, I don't know. Like, no, I, you're I good. Alrighty. righty. It was fun streaming with you and As Luna. always, lots of fun. Alright. Bye, guys. Peace. Bye. Bye.